Do, 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, Shinobis. Mark here, and we are working on Snake Eyes in the Sunken Valley. And uh, this one was a fun one. I had a good time with this. Uh, with this guide, I'm going to show you how to find her and then easily lose the aggro. Um, well, fairly easily. There's a little bit of a trick to it. Um, and then once we lose that aggro, I'm going to show you how we stealth a death blow and reduce her health by 50%. And we will need the Sabimaro prosthetic. Not absolutely necessary, but helpful. Firecrackers also help. And don't forget to load up on emblems. So we're gonna take a big jump down there and then we're gonna grapple and we're gonna hop over grapple again. And then we're gonna go up north and we're gonna grapple again. So go ahead and fall, squeeze that left trigger or just mash it. We're gonna quickly run and jump. You gotta do this quickly because those guys are shooting and they will hurt. So as quickly as you can, jump, grapple, and there's our friend, there's Snake Eyes. But we're gonna leave her for now. Just run by her into this little area down here. And then when we reach the bottom, we're gonna find a grapple point, which is right there. So go ahead and grapple up there. And as soon as we get to the top, we're gonna run. So hold the dodge button, and we're gonna run it in a zigzag pattern through that little area. And just run, 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 back, back and forth, back, back and forth, zigzag, zigzag. If you get hit or if you die, just don't respawn, just start over. Now, look up there, you can see Snake Eyes is still aggroing me. So keep an eye on the upper left, and it's gone. Once it's gone, do a 180, and then we're gonna zigzag back. Again, if you die here, just don't respawn, start over. So you have all your spawns for the battle. Now make it up there. Okay, well, I, I just got hit, but that's okay. It's not that much. So if you get hit once, that's fine. So we're gonna pay attention to um, the aggro meter there. And you can see Snake Eyes is um, in a yellow state right now. That's fine. So let's make our way over. And then we're gonna crouch and we're gonna wait for her to de-aggro. Okay, she's done. She's walking back to her spot. Now, we're going to very carefully, you're going to crouch and drop down and hug the rock wall when you drop as close as you can right there. And we're going to slowly move forward. Don't forget to target her with your right stick. This one sometimes can be a little tricky for it to pop up. There we go. Okay, so now we have the death blow. So let's go ahead and perform that death blow. Now here's something that's kind of tricky and weird. I noticed, wait till she fully stands up. Don't forget to target her, by the way. Wait till she fully gets up, then attack her with the Sabimaro mod and just lay into her. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. If she blocks or if she swings, just dodge back and go back in and keep smacking. Now when she's poisoned, she hates this. She does not like this. Uh, I think it's awesome. Now what I should have done is laid into her. I, I dodged because I thought she was coming in for an attack. but try to stay on her and keep smacking her. Now these these slow hits, you can easily you can easily deflect them. Um, and by the way, look at her posture meter. Look how high it is already. But you can block those. You just have to get the rhythm down um, and how slow they come. And don't forget to use these rocks to your advantage. I made a mistake here. I should have gone off. I should have prior prioritized my health and I didn't. So look what happened. So I should have gone back here first. I should have healed up, then gone back and attacked her. So there it is. So don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.